Good morning, welcome to the vlog. It is a very windy, blustery day out. Yesterday, hurricane slash tropical storm Debbie hit the state and it's been very, very windy and rainy. Yesterday it rained all day long. I pretty much just took the day off and hung out at home. I feel like for me, this was my final month of you live in Florida, which is funny because next month is gonna mark my one year of moving to Florida. Had my first hurricane and also saw my first gator. There's a gator that has now taken up residence in the pond right across the street. And that was very fascinating. I sadly watched it eat a turtle, which was truly circle of life moment because I watched those turtles be born as well. I'm gonna finish getting ready. I just wanna curl my hair and then we're gonna go to the thrift store. I'm very much in the mood for vintage lately. I like, I go in spurts kind of as of recently I've noticed where I will be in the mood for vintage and then other times I'm just like not finding anything. So I just am just whatever in my brain. But yeah, I'm in the mood for, for vintage hunting. Before I head out for the day though, I have a package that I want to open. This was something that I ordered on a whim. I had been doing some research on some Tibby items and I stumbled across some shoes in my size. And they were, they were a very reasonable price. I think they were like just over $50 and I decided to like them, but this was months ago. And just the other day, they sent out an offer for under $20. I was just like, what? We're gonna open them up together and see, see how good they are. Oh, these are like brand new. Look at that, brand, brand new. These are so good. I need to do this more often. I don't normally buy stuff on eBay because I'm a seller and I enjoy the hunt. Like I really, truly enjoy the hunt of thrifting. So I'm not a big purchaser of eBay, but I mean, when I get stuff like this, I'm just like, why, why don't I do this? Like a brand new pair of Tibby shoes for under $20. We still pay attention to the socks. This was, this was kind of the game plan with the shoes is I really wanted to get some ruffled socks. I feel like that would look the best with this, but these are the closest to that that I have right now. Definitely not wearing them out thrifting today because they are rather painful because they need to be stretched out. So I'm gonna forego that style. All in all though, I'm very happy with that purchase. eBay man, gotta love it. And I'm part of that, you know? Like I, I feel good knowing that there are some people who have scored things that they've been looking for for ages off of eBay because I just so happened to come across it at the thrift store and they got a steal of a deal on it. Not sponsored, but like eBay, hit a girl up. Sometimes I feel like it is so evident and wild how much my thrifting style has changed over the years. I would get so excited to find certain types of vintage and I think that's changed a lot and I'm sure some of you have noticed that. I still absolutely love finding vintage but there is a major difference between finding vintage 10 years ago versus now and I think my quality standards have evolved so much over the years that certain pieces I just won't allow in my store anymore or in my personal wardrobe. I still get so excited to find certain polyester pieces and there are some things that are just so beyond unique that I can't pass up on, but I do have to admit certain things just don't have a place for me anymore. And it breaks my heart because there's so many cool pieces still out there to be found, but a lot of it I do realistically have to pass on. I do obviously still find a lot of joy though in documenting the cool pieces that I find that I maybe wouldn't take the time to pick up and do the research on and clean. All in all though, I think the joy in thrifting has changed drastically for me. It's gone more into the quality based pieces that I get excited finding. I love finding something that is 100% cashmere, whereas five years ago, I would have loved to find something that was 100% polyester. It's just changed so much. It's amazing what moving across the country will do for you and all of the years of fabric knowledge and just the general idea of thrifting and buying quality pieces versus just thrifting in general. This is feeling very Dynasty vibes. It's a skirt and a top. I'm not actually gonna pick it up, but I just had to document it because, I mean, someone in Dynasty probably wore this.
I'm feeling a full blown denim moment with the Levi's jacket. And then I just found a Zara maxi skirt. None of it's vintage, but you know, take what you can get. I think I've pretty much scoured the store. Um, I've only found a handful of things. And really I think the Zara skirt is like the winner of them all. I really cannot believe all of the Halloween stuff is already out. Apparently it's already out at the parks too, but I just like, holy crap, I'm not ready for it. So is that a fantastic Mr. Fox mask? That's terrifying. I have a really good last minute edition that I snagged on my way out the door. I saw it and I was like, oh, I can't, I can't pass that up. Brand new New Balance 550s that are in my size. What's going on with shoes lately? I really, I do not know. Look at that, $12.99 for New Balance 550s, never worn. Perfect brand new condition. I, I legit do not know what is going on with shoes lately. Feeling halfway decent though about this haul. I feel like it was, it was definitely worth coming here. Um, not really the best for my store though. I think I found two items for my shop, but other than that, everything was for myself and that's always dangerous. <laughs> It is another day, another Goodwill. We are on the hunt for some interesting vintage because I didn't find it the other day, but have no fear. I think we can find something here. See what I did there? Did you see, did you see that? Did you see that? I am just absolutely floored by this right now. <laughs> this number right here Good old classic zipper. Look at how beautiful that is. This, I, I don't know if this would even be worth the risk. It is super damaged fabric wise, but oh my gosh, I would say this is probably like a 40s, 40s, maybe 50s. Um, she has side pockets, which is kind of fascinating to me, but oh my gosh, just like ultimate glam cocktail dress. And then this is just a beautiful embroidered day dress. It's like, man, you put it out there, you're gonna find it. Wow. After a lot of careful consideration, I'm only going with one of the dresses, which makes me really sad, but the other two were just damaged enough that I don't want to mess with it. But ultimately, the, the one that was my favorite, the most beautiful one with the embroidery detail, it just was beyond repair. There's nothing I can do with it. So, ugh, it's heartbreaking, but it happens. We have one last stop for this week. I am hoping to pop into a TJ Maxx and find some Ruffly socks. If not right next door is a DSW. So I'm hoping that this will just be like a pop in, pop out kind of thing. But you know, when you walk into a TJ Maxx, that, uh, that very rarely happens. Mm, nothing quite what I'm looking for. I actually really like these though. They seem soft and comfy, but not the ruffle. I want the ruffle. Oh, I do like these too. Yeah, nothing here, which makes me really happy if I'm being completely honest, because the line here is always super long. So we're gonna go next door to DSW. I think I should be able to find something there. These are cute. I like these too. Ever since they discontinued the Crocs that I love, I am like always on the hunt for some new kind of Crocs. I used to love the Light Ride 
series. Um, they have lasted me forever. They are so comfy and they're decently cute, you know, like they're not, they're not normal Crocs, uh, but I can never find anything like that anymore. Breaks my heart. I guess these would kind of be the closest to the Light Ride series, but they're just not quite. They had the back strap too. And this was like a, uh, almost like a nylon stretch. Yeah, nothing quite like it. You know, I'm thinking Amazon it is because I can't seem to find exactly what I'm looking for. There's a Nike clearance store here too, but I don't think I'm gonna find the proper socks. I guess the adventure will continue online. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go over everything that I picked up, uh, starting with the most beautiful piece of them all. This. 1950s is what I am going to make my best guess on. Little, probably like event prom dress number. It's so beautiful. The ruffle detail, the drop waist. It's not quite my size, but imagine it just kind of like cinched in at the waist. It's just, it's so beyond beautiful. It's a very rare occasion that I can say something is 100% thrifted, but this is one of those outfits. This is a vintage, I love South Beach. I haven't been to South Beach, but I would imagine I love it. Uh, and then this, the Zara, the Zara denim skirt, I actually think I'm gonna put in my shop because it, it makes me look short and I'm already short to begin with. So it's, it's just not the most flattering piece, I don't think, for a short person. I keep trying, I keep trying the denim maxi skirt trend and I just don't think it suits my height. Whenever I'm having a hard time accepting my outfit, I always just throw on these shorts and I instantly am like, okay, this works, this totally works. Uh, I feel very Miami Vice in this, but this is a blazer that I picked up that I feel like slowly but surely fall time is about ready to start creeping in back into my wardrobe and I am so excited for it. And then of course my new New Balances. Oof, I love these so much. This feels so, this feels so 80s, sporty chic. South Beach, here we go. I'm in the territory, it all makes sense. And the very last piece is that denim jacket jacket that you guys saw at the first store. This is such a cool piece. It has such workwear vibes to it. It just embodies so much of the style that I absolutely love. Uh, I don't know for sure yet if I'm gonna sell or keep it. It's just one of those pieces though that the quality was there and I knew I had to pick it up. But yeah, cause I mean, you really can't go wrong with Levi's workwear jackets. If I'm being totally honest though, I think the South Beach t-shirt is what I'm going to get the absolute most wear out of. I think I'm gonna close out the vlog here. It is kind of amazing to reflect back on this little adventure of a week trying to find vintage because so much has changed. I used to just do one thrift trip and do entire bags full of vintage, but so much has changed in my thrifting style and what I want to pick up. And it was fascinating to kind of reflect on that, this video. So thanks so much for hanging out with me and tagging along. If you're new around here, I might have a couple extra videos for you right here and right here, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.